What's good, Joel? Shagam Makai. And I feel like this season, Russell Westbrook has been doing a lot of amazing stuff. But because we've become so used to it, because he does it so often, it's going under the radar. So I want to take some time out in this video to really tell you what Russell Westbrook has been doing and tell you just how amazing it is and how we should not be just so normalizing this because this is amazing, amazing numbers. But yeah, make sure you like the video, subscribe, comment on the video. I'm trying to hit 400 subscribers. I'm trying to hit 1,000, but 400 is the next goal. But if you like the video, like the video, subscribe, all that stuff. But yeah, man, Russell Westbrook, to start the season off, he was not having such a great season because, as he said, his quad was really messed up. Your quad is like, you know, a muscle in your leg. So he was basically playing on one leg, according to him. And, you know, at first it was really sad to see, like, because Russell Westbrook was playing bad. His efficiency was as worse as it's ever been. He wasn't getting to the rim as much. He wasn't finishing as good as he used to. And it was just really, really sad to see because he had everybody thinking that he was washed and just... After he took some time to properly heal, it was really after the All-Star break when he really started to, you know, go crazy. And this season again, for the fourth time out of five seasons, I want you to hear that again. For the fourth time out of five seasons, Russell Westbrook is averaging triple-double. This season he's averaging 22 points, 11 rebounds, and 11 assists. And you know, you can say, oh, his triple-doubles don't lead to winning, he doesn't have any rings, and I don't want to hear that. This is still amazing numbers. We haven't seen this since literally Oscar Robinson. And he's done it four out of five times. Oscar Robinson did it one time. So this is just amazing, amazing stuff. And he just recently tied Oscar Robinson for the most triple doubles in NBA history. So we need to get Russell Westbrook his flowers before it's too late. Now, I just want to read to you the last, you know, couple games he's had. 33, 19, and 15, 13, 17, and 17, 29, 12, and 17, 14, 21, and 24, 42, 10, and 9, 15, 12, and 11, 18, 18, and 14, 22, 13, and 14, 14, 5, and 11, and 37, 11, and 11. And that's just his last eight games. He's been having numbers like this all season for multiple years now. Just like a couple years ago, he had a 20, 20, and 20 game. He's always found a way to make sure that he gets these stats, and it does lead to winning because there's, there was a stat up there a couple years ago. I don't know if it's still true right now, but... Russell Westbrook triple doubles do lead to winning. Now, I want to say Russell Westbrook as a player himself leads to winning down in the playoffs because last season in the playoffs, he didn't have a good, you know, second round or first round really because he was injured. I'm not going to, you know, kill him for that. He had COVID and he messed up his leg. But to say that Russell Westbrook isn't a winner is just really, really stupid to me because he's been, you know, he's had deep playoff runs. He's done things when he's been expected to. But he's only lost to teams that have been better than him. Now, I forget to, you know, I want to forget what happened in 20, I think it was 2018. They should not have lost to Donovan Mitchell and Utah Jazz. That is the one time, not the one time, but that is the most, you know, glaring time that they've lost. That Russell Weber has been, you know, on the other side of a playoff series where he should have been, you know, on the winning side. But I, I don't want to talk about all of that. Russell Westbrook is averaging a triple-double, and I feel like we've become desensitized to it because, yes, he's done that, you know, four out of the last five seasons, so if we're seeing these triple-doubles literally every single night, of course, it's going to be like, oh, that's just another, you know, Westbrook stat line. He's just stat chasing. But what people don't understand is if it was so easy to do, everybody would do it. Russell Westbrook isn't doing it because it's easy. He's doing it because that's the way he knows how to win. And it's just so, you know, frustrating to see somebody just downplay that because they think that Russell Westbrook is not going to, you know, lead a team to a championship. None of that matters. We need to appreciate what he's doing on the basketball court every night because I feel like Russell Westbrook is the one of one. Like, he's, you know, there's never going to be another, another Russell Westbrook. There's never going to be a guy who, you know, you know, does the triple-double thing like him, plays as hard as him, is as explosive as him, you know, and just plays the game the way Russell Westbrook does. And I feel like people just let it go unnoticed because he just does it a lot. Just because something happens a lot doesn't make it any less amazing, you know, when it happens again. And, you know, most likely this season, he's going to pass Oscar Robinson for the most triple-doubles in NBA history. He has more triple-doubles than Magic Johnson and LeBron James. That right there is a feat in itself, but to pass the all-time triple-double leader Oscar Robinson, the big old, that is a ridiculous feat and that needs to be celebrated. So, you know, what do I think of Russell Westbrook's career? Obviously, he does not have a championship, but I feel like that point is brought up a lot, you know, more than it has to be because it's okay for a player to not win a ring, but he's a good, great all-star MVP level player. Why can't we just appreciate that part instead of focusing on the negative part of that? 
Like averaging a triple double four out of five seasons is something that we're never gonna see again. We're probably never gonna see another guy average a triple double ever in life. Well, I can't say that because you know the league is more talented every day, but this is gonna be a record that's gonna be held for multiple decades. And I wanted to bet money on that. But yeah, man, Russell Westbrook has just been amazing. I don't want these stats to go on notice. He's giving you these, you know, ridiculous stat lines, and he's still playing the right way. He's still playing in a very exciting, explosive, 100 miles per hour Russell Westbrook way that, you know, we've all come to love him for. Do I wish that his career could have went, you know, a different route? You know, could that, do I wish that he could be on a real contender this season? Of course, but what he's doing in Washington that's leading to them winning cannot go unnoticed and shouldn't go unnoticed. Washington might very well just make the playoffs as the AC in the East because they gotta play, they gotta go through the playing tournament, but Russell Westbrook is gonna be the sole cause of that. Not the sole cause, but a big, big part of that along with Bradley Bill. But I just wanna take some time out today to appreciate Russell Westbrook, appreciate the triple doubles, appreciate, you know, playing hard every night, never taking any shortcuts, never taking any breaks. But yeah, man, let me say that in this video, thank you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.